and the BSA is on its wheels, it's now time to recommission the LC, which has been sat languishing in the shed for a few years. I think uh, the last time I rode it was at the Manx Grand Prix a few years ago now. So let's have a look and see what's up with it. So um, we have no power. So check the battery to see if we've got a charge. So with the battery showing 4.25 volts, see if we can get a charge into it. If we can't, well, there is a way of um, pushing a charge into it using a smart charger. If I have to do that, I'll show you how it's done. But first, let's just try it on the smart charger first. So the battery is on charge now. I've had to rig up this sort of arrangement because I'm using the, the big dumb battery charger because I can't find the smart one. And the clips on this are a bit big for one of these motorback ones. So as you can see what the connections are like, they're very small. So I've got these other crocodile clips which are smaller. And then I've connected the big crocodile clips to the small crocodile clips. And now it's pulling 13.4 volts. So it's only a little battery. Give it a couple of hours on the big dumb battery charger. Then plug it back in and see uh, if we've got power. So the battery's back on. Um, and I suppose let's see if this thing will fire and a couple of hours worth of charge it's saying about 11 and a half volts should be enough it's probably not coming on at the moment but maybe that's just because of the low voltage let's have a look actual's on joke's on Side stand. I think I'll put her outside for we're not fumigating this place and then um, run her up to temperature. So have a look at the rear brake and then we should be ready for a Good Friday two stroke ride out. Well, at least it still works. Thanks for watching this very short video. And hopefully see you on the next one. So 
thought I'd give you a bit of a a walk around this uh, LC. This is a hybrid. It has um, G6R upside down forks. It's got six pot calipers on there. So G6R 400 upside down forks. Um, six pot calipers from another G6R of some description. I think it was a G6R 1000 maybe. Um, these are GP pipes from Micabby. Um, who's top notch two stroke tuner? It's got a PAL valve engine which is bored out to 375cc from 350. The swing, the rear swing arm is also a G6R 400 GK76 and some um, petaled um, discs. The sprocket, you can just about see through the wheel, but the wheels are um, CBR 400 wheels, and which was a bit of a pain to be honest because they're asymmetrical. So getting them to fit in here was a right pain. Sprocket is a custom sprocket made by BNC. Unfortunately now been taken over by somebody else and don't make custom sprockets anymore, which is a bit annoying. I think the, um, the rear brake is G6R again, um, a fancy kickstart, looks a bit like the um, RGV 500 one, maybe, or is it the, um, was it RGV 500? Possibly. Um, the carbs are bigger than standard, they're 28 mil instead of 26 I say power valve engine, not standard LC engine. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. A couple of little sort of things on it, like um, I put the LC engine cover on, not the um, the uh, power valve one, which uh, is made out of plastic. Um, the LC one's made out of metal, which looks a bit better. So yeah, uh, it goes all right as well for an old two-stroke. Oh yeah, the dash, electronic dash on it from oh, I can't remember where that one's from. I think it's a vapor. Um, yeah, power valve switch gear. The um, the front master cylinder, brake master cylinder, was um, Bandit twelve hundred. So, yeah, a bit of a mix and match. But I think it looks alright, actually. Looks pretty good. People generally look at it and don't realise until they really sort of study that it is actually a hybrid. Um, so, yeah. And now it's all working.